Now gentlemen please, ladies and gentlemen, this is a heavyweight contest. Six rounds, five minutes each round. One fall, one submission or one kill to decide the winner. In the red corner, one of the most outstanding wrestlers in the world today from Manchester, Roy Sinclair. And in the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, your local boy, the dog who got for and also known in the wrestling world as the dog boy, ladies and gentlemen, Steve Beadle. Roy Sinclair in the black trunks and a formidable opponent. Nothing much in the weight. Sinclair, if anything, giving away a few pounds. 14 stone 11 in the mid heavyweight class, Sinclair. Vito at 15 stone 1, just in the heavens. But one fall were decided, so just one bad mistake by either of these men, and it's all over. Let's hope it doesn't happen soon because it could be a great bout, this one. How many heavyweights do you see get up? as quickly as that from a, uh, a head throw, a chance for a throw. Not so good that time. Didn't land right at all. Vigo went for the double interlock. Royce Sinclair assisted on the single. Nice turn over the top of the opposite arm. Beautiful wrestling by Sinclair. the side head chance to remove the arms <laughs> yes Vita let go at exactly the right moment went back to the same hole for the throw perfect timing and the side head chance is still on They are trying an unusual counter for this here. Yes. Watch over, but they played the chance to win that one. Yep, still on there. Vito determined to keep his hold on, assisting with it. Let's go just in time for the chop on the arms. And retrieves it immediately. Now let's see if some care can avoid it this time. Yes, very easy. Toe and ankle. Some care on the attack. Last. Tempting a crossbar to an arm lock, very dangerous. A couple of minutes to go in this first. Nicely out. And nicely out of the head scissors too. Very quick get out by some clear there. Headbutt to the stomach, Vida doesn't seem to like that at all. Well timed, and another. Uh, uh, follow up too quick. Max Ward, really tough here this afternoon. I know that uh, joint promotions are possible now. Bridge out of trouble, I should say. I know that uh, joint promotions in general have insisted on very much tougher refereeing and Max Ward showing it already this afternoon, especially the Nagasaki bar. <laughs> so side headlock now, some clear on the attack again. <laughs>
Half a minute left. Attempt, but it still didn't come on. The side headlock still on, and the bell will go in about three seconds. Okay. Roy Sinclair, now of course from Manchester, but formerly Red Roof Cornwall, where his famous heavyweight father came from and won so many titles in Red Roof. 14 stone 11. Roy has been up right up for the weights up to 16 and a half stone you first saw him at 13 and a half went up to 16 and a half and now he's done settled at 14 stone 11. great wrestlers these two fellows tony sinclair his brother just come back from south africa we'll be seeing him on television soon as well no doubt second away round two Round two, and of course no score, because this is a 1-4 contest. Vidor in the light strip versus Sinclair. And the double-handed wrist lever by Vidor. So far managing to stop Sinclair successfully countering. Here's a new one for Vida. Still leave it. Leave her on. Ah, some chair switching fast there. It didn't work, but at least it was a try. Ah, that's better. Has got it. And Vida himself went out of that to avoid that uh, <laughs> reverse whip. Sinclair realizing it. Full Nelson now, Sinclair. <laughs> Interesting to see if Vida can break that. More likely to butt him or go to the canvas, I would say. Yeah, he's threatening to. There's the butt. Taking him all the way with him. And the leg shot in time. Like to the taller, should get advantage from this, maybe. Heads. making sure the strength hold stayed until the double arm but uh, nobody can get anywhere from there so they agree to a push stalemate we are taking quite a long breather there following that uh, back of the leg across his throat a strangle hold without the headlock here to Sinclair. Oh, oh, nice left. Tremendous left by the uh, Tremendous left. And can he slam him from there? No, couldn't quite get the end of the slam. It follows up neatly, but too near the ropes. Again, the double into up start. Roy Sinclair went into that move willingly for the second time. I'm rather surprised. Leader again gets the advantage from it. Lovely bridge just saves him clear from the count of three. 
And a lovely high mountain climb there by Greece Trying to get the referee to start counting quickly. Folding press now, but it was too late. Spun out nicely by Vigo. Great stuff by both men there. Again the butt. He doesn't like the follow-up a little too late. I think he released before, yes. Referee breaking it up. Less than a minute now in round two. And a reminder to Roy Sinclair not to follow up a headbutt unless it's part of the same move. You've got to attack with a headbutt and grab your man at the same second, not after it. Face down, knee drop. And Vito trying a headbutt now to the stomach. Half a minute. Oh, he's over the top nicely, just caught in a double leg, Nelson now, Sinclair's got a chance. And Vida now possibly a chance for a folding press in the last 18 seconds of this uh, round, round two. 12 seconds. 8 seconds, he won't turn him in time unless he really moves. 3 seconds, he's too late. This man with no speciality, in fact he's proud of having no speciality because uh, he's really a master of all the moves in the wrestling ring, especially the fast ones. I should think probably one of the fastest heavyweights in the business, and certainly the most popular, probably the best looking, that's why, to make the ladies. But uh, everybody has written to me asking, when is he going to get another chance at the British title? <laughs> Round three. Round three. One fall decides the bout. Vito versus Sinclair. Sinclair in the black trunks, black hair. Uh -huh. Looking for the back elbow would be the well out of range. Yes, sole of the foot, right to the solar plexus there. This treatment to the Vito abdomen not going down a little well. Waiting for him to get up, holding press. Is, oh, two, part of two, almost the three, and again, again. Sinclair gets the shoulder laid off in time. Three counts of two there. But cannot, could not quite finish him off. In fact, of course, Roy Sinclair just waiting for the count of two before making his effort. <laughs> forward whip, but Vida had to go with it. Sinclair held on nicely. the single finger interlock Vince Royce is clear using both hands and now Vida is nicely out Tark in a lot of trouble off the ropes again can't we all know a flying tackle attempt but caught underneath and very dangerous for Vida but thrown off on two for the third time Vida for the first time for Vida but the Third time in the bout, we very nearly had the winning fall. The first two, uh, some clear shoulders being counted out. Oh, 
posting, but the oh. stopped it on the way. The knee came up right. Just how right, we'll, we'll see in a minute. Yes, very right. Gets up at nine and took Vida nicely. A couple of minutes to go in the third. And again, coming in at the plate. Double arm over the top and a shoulder press. Now Vida again trying. And again, Sinclair falls over. Gets his feet mixed up with the bottom rope on the count of three. Almost as the referee was saying. Leg lever now. The toe and ankle held by the elbow. Face bar Vida, getting him round to where he wanted him, so he could complete the body scissors. And those legs really interlock there. Oh no, deciding to release. Nobody getting anywhere from that. One minute to go, third. Oh, body check, beauty, and probably be the getting the worst of that, I would say. Both men being counted by Max Ward. 40 seconds to go in this third round. Eight, nine, and both just up on the nine. Vida going in for the clutch hold and slam. But he hasn't got the slam yet. In fact, Sinclair holding his balance beautifully. And in fact, if Vida in trouble again. Less than half a minute, and the count of two once more for Sinclair. This could have gone either way so many times, but still no score. Vida with 20 seconds to go and this time the grab at the arms. Vida going right the way through but manages to hold the bottom rope with his heels. 10 seconds and I don't think any damage to Vida. In fact he's grinning now. <laughs> <It's> right, <laughs> right on the bell of round three. Well, Roy Sinclair really doing well. He's at least evened the match up on points. If there was a points decision here today, they would be very, very even on this one. He's had at least two chances on Vida's shoulders, a count of two, and Vida just getting out of the way in time. Uh, just the same as he's done the same with Vida on top. Uh, very interesting to see which way this goes. Most sporting bout, both men enjoying it as much as the crowd here at Croydon. Seconds away, round four. Three rounds to go as we start the fourth. One fall to size. Vito versus St. Clair. Bout could have been over so easily on both sides on two or three occasions each. Very near thing for both men. We were taking the longer breaks when on the crowd was here. Side headlock nicely held by Sinclair. Body check, he mistimed it over the top nicely. Vida trying a body check, but too late. Now coming in, body check again, takes the man over the top. Double leg Nelson Vida. Folding press now to Sinclair. Beautifully caught wheeled out. Vida again going for it. And this time, this time he's completely on the double knee. He meant for a double knee in there on that shoulder press. And Sinclair coming in as Vida gets up. And double arm, beautifully taken, very near the ropes, but Sinclair not pulling the ropes and it's beautifully done. Lovely move. And finally, Steve Vida gets it in the fourth by the one four required. But what a great bout and what, what a pity, a disaster in fact for either of these men to have to lose that one. Charlie Fisher, our MC, one out. Who required, ladies and gentlemen, the winner, Steve Vida!